time now for everybody's favorite guessing game, What's My Line? Brought to you by Remington Rand, makers of the world's number one electric shaver, the Remington. Now, let's all play What's My Line? Now let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the popular Broadway columnist, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. On my left, a gentleman that we think is not only funny and charming, but just great, Fred Allen. Thank you, Dorothy. And on my uh, left, ladies and gentlemen, the oldest living president of a Jessica Dragonette fan club, <laughs> Miss Arlene Francis. I guess I can be grateful you didn't say Theda Barra. <laughs> And on my left, the distinguished publisher and columnist, Mr. Bennett Cerf. And on my left, the uh, positively only news analyst and panel moderator who was born in Johannesburg, South Africa. In fact, he's known as Johannes John Daly. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. Tonight, uh, we have got some tricks up our sleeves which we trust will uh, hit the panel right over the heads. We're going to have a famous challenger, too, a little later on, but I think we should get to some of our <laughs> other tricks first, so it's time for the experts to meet our first challenger, whose line has to be spotted. Will you sign in, please, ma'am? <laughs> Nicole... Germain. Is that right? Very fine, firm hand. Am I spelling good? Spelling is excellent. Fine. Splendid. Is it Miss or Mrs.? Mrs. Does it matter very much? No, actually, this is more for the information of everybody around and about. Makes a lot of difference, you know, in some ways, but not particularly with reference to what we're going to do here. Yeah. Makes a lot of difference to my husband. Yes, I bet. Is he very big? <laughs> I'm 6'1 and weigh 100. What? Oh, yes. Well, let's get on. Actually, um... I'd like to chat with you all night here, but uh, the panel's go. going to have to do all the work, so you go over and let them get a closer look at you, will you? You didn't say where, you, you didn't say where you're from, Mr. McCullough. How do you do? How do you do? Secret, you're from. Thank you very much. Do you? you have no All right, will you come over here now? No other muff me? for the other hand. Isn't that a shame? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Germain is sitting here with me. Then it made the point that we didn't find out where you're from, so would you announce that out loud? Montreal, Canada. Montreal, Canada. And we have some friends in the house, too, for you, from Montreal. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we do at this point is let the panel have one free guess as to what your line may be. We'll begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. I think she's a diplomat. A diplomat, Mr. Oh, Allen. Thank you, Miss Kilgallen. I would say from Montreal, uh, she's a lady hockey player. A lady hockey player, <laughs> <laughs> Miss Francis. Skiing instructress. Mr. Sir. Oh, she, she's a bobsledder. No, I'm afraid nobody has it. We'll let our viewers have a further look at Mrs. Nicole Germain, and at the same time, we will tell them what her line is. But the panel's going to have to dig. All right. Mrs. Germain, uh, I don't know whether you see our program. Do you know how we score this? Oh, yes. You yes, see the program up in Canada? Program. Fine. Well, you know how we score it, so I won't go through that. Mm -hmm. I will just announce that Mrs. Germain is salaried, and let's begin the general questioning with uh, Fred Allen. Uh, Miss Germain, uh, do you uh, deal in services? <clears throat> yes. Is there a Some product kind of involved in what you do? Is there what? A product involved in these services? Mm, no. No, there that's no one problem. down. I was on about as long as a president of Costa Rica. <laughs> 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 and more fun, too. <laughs> uh, Miss Germain, do uh, people come to you for any service rather than you're going to them? <clears throat> well, yes. They, in yes, a way, in yes, a way, they say, yes. come to me, yes. Uh, do you uh, uh, touch them in any way? 
No. No, that's two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. Well, that's too bad for them. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> Mr. Remain, without meaning to get personal, I, I think that a person as beautiful as you are should have some part in the entertainment world. Do you? Thank you, and it's yes. It is, yes. 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 Uh, do you uh, do some kind of a performance that people watch in a theater or nightclub? Just a moment, please. Sorry, we have to have a concert. Oh, I knew we were going to have a concert. Well, what are you doing on Thursday night? All right. You, do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? Oh, I'll do it. I'm you brave. Do it. All right, brave. go ahead. No. No. <laughs> That's right. Three dollars, seven to go. That, no. <laughs> Miss Gilgallan. But people are permitted to watch what you do. Yes. Do you move about? No. No. You stand perfectly still. Sorry, again. Sit. No. No and moving about. Four, four down to six to go, Mr. Allen. You don't do this in a theater? No, that what has been elicited is, no. is not done in a theater or nightclub, night I believe. Nightclub either. Uh, is it entertaining what you do? I hope so. Well, is that the general uh, yes, agreement? Yes, the of general people? opinion, yes. Uh, is, does it involve your voice in any way? It does. Uh, I know it's, no, no, it's not, not anything as simple as singing. You didn't no. come all the way from Montreal. A bird wouldn't come down this far to sing. I mean. <laughs> anything as simple as singing, Fred. Well, is it done it. indoors? Uh, is your voice used indoors? Mm, yes. Is it uh, done in any particular uh, type of uh, store or building? Store or building? A department uh, store? No. No, and I think there, on the basis of the theme of the question, you'll understand the no later on, Fred. That's five down. I'd like to, to know go. now if I could. <laughs> <laughs> I may be gone later on. <laughs> But you're, since your voice is important, one takes it that if you do not sing for Fred Allen, you might talk for him. Do you do that? I do. Um, would you, in, uh, you certainly would be charming at it. Do you sit at a panel ever? Yes. Uh, would it be a panel on television? Yes. And I want to thank whoever yeah, brought yes. the audience. <laughs> More help from the audience, please. <laughs> Is this panel television so, show very successful in, in Montreal or in Canada? Very successful. Even is it if by I any say so chance myself? the is, What's My Line show in yes. Canada? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ray is probably the Fred Allen up there. They're <laughs> almost as good as you are, I must which, say. These. Which chair do you sit in, Mr. Bain? Which one of the four chairs the do you sit in? second one. Well, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call What's My Line up in Canada? Chacun son métier. To each his... Um, trade. Trade. Yes. That's right, chacun son métier. But don't they do it in the theater? Where do they do it? In the street or something? In a hall. In a hall. Still in a hall. hall. No, it's not a... Well, I said indoors, and you said no. No, but well, not we, in the park. We said indoors. Oh. Well, don't mm -hmm. you have an audience that watches you? Yes. Wouldn't yeah. that be a theater? Is that a theater? Mm -mm, no, no, it's not a theater. Oh, it's a studio. studio. It's a studio, television yeah. studio. Very well, nice. this is Sorry, a Sorry, kids. <laughs> Actually, uh... <laughs> well, if you're going to be a stick, you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, Mrs. Germain, you haven't met the other challengers tonight. I oh, asked no. that you not be allowed to meet them because they I... They kept me locked They kept you upstairs. In a cell. Well, that's, that's what I, I asked I was getting worried, you know. <laughs> I know she's going to replace me. I feel it. No, no we're not oh, going to ask her to replace you, but I, I was going to... I that. <laughs> I was going to ask Mr. May, would you play one round with us just to see uh, how you, you do said it? one. Yes, I only, not more than one, I promise. Because I had a show last night, you know. All right, just and one round. Once Bennett, a week is enough. Will you pull that chair over next <laughs> you, to you? You and bet let, I will. And let Mrs. <laughs> Germain sit next to you. That'll be fun. You go on Thank over you. and join the panel then, and we'll see what we can do with the panel. All right, you all set, everybody? <laughs> Mrs. Germain, you're all ready to go. We'll get the markers back again, and let's see what the panel, all five of you, can do with another challenge. Will you come in and... Sign in, please, ma'am. Alice. Alice Chrysafulli, right? Uh, Miss or Mrs.? Mrs. Mrs. Chrysafulli, panel. Fine. And where are you from, ma'am? 
Boyceville, New York. Boyceville, New York. Yes. Where's that up north part of the state? Partway up. Oh, up in that area. Well, that's fun. Big stage, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> well, it's a big stage. Would you take a small hike over there so that all five panelists can get a look at you, please? Mm -hmm. It's too bad you didn't bring your chair. You could join us, too. <laughs> make a big economy-sized panel here. Oh. <clears throat> and the panel gets one free guess now as to what your line may be. Would you come in a bit closer, please? And we begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. I think she's an instructor in athletics. Instructor in athletics. Mr. Allen. I think she's a chaperone at Girlsville, uh, which is near Boyceville up there. <laughs> <laughs> Miss I think she's a mechanic, Miss Crispelli. Mr. Sir. I think she wrote the town slogan, Boyceville will be Boyceville. <laughs> well, we can get this program off the air faster <laughs> than you can. John, all right, Mrs. Germain. I think she's a model for a toothpaste ad. A model for a toothpaste ad. Mm -hmm. Now I'm afraid nobody's got it. We'll let our audience have a further look at Mrs. Alice Chrysophilly. At the same time, we will tell them what her line is, but the panel's going to have to work. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mrs. Chrysophilly, you know how we score with these things here. Yes. Sometimes time you give a no answer, flip. Uh, All set? Yes, sir. Mrs. Chrysophilly is self-employed. Let's begin the general questioning with Bennett Surf. Well, Mrs. Chris Foley, I hope I'm safe in saying there are no television shows emanating from Boyceville. Is that correct? <laughs> yes. Uh, so you're not in the entertainment business. Is that correct? Yes. But you are self-employed. Yes. Is there a product involved with, with what you do? Yes. Do you make something? No. No, no not made. One down, nine to go. Mrs. Germain. Do you repair something? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, does your work require any uh, unusual strength or agility that is not associated with women entirely? You mean some faculty of strong hands or of some particular physical feature You're that has to be developed beyond the norm <laughs> for most of uh... I'm not going to cooperate with you, John. I, I'll get a no on my own. <laughs> you want it now or later? I guess I'll get it now. I, I just mean... Um, May I rephrase it? Sure. Uh, do you use your, your hands or your body in your work, as well as your mind? Yes. Uh, we all do. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you oh, mean Mr. beyond... Mason actually, I'm trying to be helpful. Now, you mean beyond the normal use, is that it? Some well, I guess I really did, yes, Special John. application? Yeah, all right. That makes it three down and seven to go, Mr. Allen. Well, is this product... Uh, uh, the product is involved, isn't it? Yeah. Is it a product that it, uh, is used or found in the house? No. It no, it might be in the house, but it would not be kept under there strain. Normally. I mean, you would put it in the house on a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, I mean. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Is this product a product that could grow? Yes. Yeah, it grows. Uh, was it ever alive? Yes. Does it belong to the animal kingdom? Yes. Four-legged animal? No. No, not four legs. That's uh, five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. Chris Foley, is the animal still alive when you're fooling around with it? Yes. Is it a domesticated animal? <laughs> hey, this is rough, isn't it? Yeah. To yes. the degree that domesticated means that it has learned or has been trained or by its natural condition and state uh, can get along in a normal society without doing damage, destroying property, etc., we'd say it was domesticated. I see. I see. Uh, Mrs. Crespo, you said it was not a four-legged animal. Is it a two-legged animal? No. No, it's not two-legged. It's, it's a fish. <laughs> It could be a fish. Six down and four could to go, Mrs. Germain. Does it have a, some kind of a voice or not? A voice? Yes. You mean just a speaking? It doesn't have a voice. A speaking voice? A singing well, voice? Well, speaking, no. Mm. Just to make sound? Yes. Any kind it of sound? It doesn't make any sound. No, it doesn't. That's right. <laughs> that makes it seven down and three to go, Mrs. Kilgallen. Yeah. <laughs> fish. It's a fish. Uh, <laughs> is this product to be found in or near the water? Sometimes. Yes. Well, it's sometimes found out of water. Yes. 
Nothing like a fish out of water. Then is it, uh... In Is it, uh, how you say in English, you know, the both kinds, like those planes? Uh, amphibious. Amphibious. Is it amphibious? In a manner of speaking. <laughs> Bigger than a goldfish? Is it bigger than a goldfish? Mm. Hey, wait a minute. I there got are some concept. very small goldfish. <laughs> well, since you say there are very tiny goldfish, we'll give you a yes on that, but I'm not absolutely sure. Well, is it sure. a fish? Is it a fish? No. 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 That's eight thousand two to go, Mr. Allen. Is it, uh, it's not a fish and it's not two-legged, it's not four-legged. There's no uh, breed that we don't know of living up in Boysville, by any <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did we have a conference? A conference. Ten, fifteen Maybe seconds for a conference. Maybe it has more than four. Maybe it's a Maybe bug. Maybe it's lots of legs. Oh, it's like it, a centipede. But don't something. go on this if you don't think so. Uh, uh, I don't think legs. about anything. I'll go on. <laughs> is this, uh, is it anything to do with an insect? No. No. I'm down one to go, Miss. Get Fence. the bugs out of this question. Now I just want to be sure we've we've done away with several things. It's not a bird. It's not a fish. It's not an animal. It's not an insect. <laughs> but it's alive. <laughs> right? Substantially. No. Uh, and it doesn't make any sound. Doesn't speak. You know. Well, Adam. Uh, <laughs> Judge Crater. Hasn't yeah. got a voice. Uh, do you have anything to do with Jeez. things that are uh, chemical in any way, germs or bacteria? Or, John, I hate that expression that, on yeah, your face. That bacteria. No. <laughs> you mean non filtrable viruses? I mean a molecule. <laughs> molecule? No. No. Stand up. No, no, no. You're not going to feel so bad when I tell you what it is that Mrs. Christopher does. It's a baby. Raises worms. Oh. She and Mr. Christopher Lee raised worms, and up in the all went along. They raised worms, and then in the fishing season in the Catskills, they sell them all around there to bait dealers and that's stuff funny, like that. That never occurred to a us. worm raiser, yes. A worm raiser, that's right. We don't. Well, Mr. Christopher Lee, you worms. certainly gave the panel a rough time, and us a, a very show. pleasant few minutes. Thanks for being our guest and what's my life. Now, I, I really, I'd like to know what category you think a worm is in if it's not an insect or, or a bug. bug. What is it? What is it? Worm now, is, it's, it's uh, actually... Is it the uh, snake world? That's animal? It's uh, not reptilian, I don't think. Oh, I don't know. Him. I'll have to look it up. But it's well, not a bug. You don't know yeah. 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 Uh, well... The worm that turns. <laughs> I've had it, and in just a moment we'll meet tonight's mystery guest, but I first of all want to say thank you very much to Mrs. Germain for being with us for that one round. Pleasure, John. It's thank lovely you. to have had you with us. First of all, the mystery guest under the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which my friends on the panel are blindfolded. Are those blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, yes, sir. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? In the case of our mystery challenger, we get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with uh, Miss Arlene Francis. Are you a performer? Jawohl. <laughs> uh, German performer. Do you uh, work in pictures? A bissel. A bissel is a sweeper. <laughs> so he's a sweeper in pictures. <laughs> um... Is that what you are primarily known for, your appearances in motion pictures? Not exactly, no. No, I would think not. One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Have you ever appeared in television? Jawohl. <laughs> do, you, do you appear with any degree of regularity in television? Well, I wouldn't say that now, exactly. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> two, two down and eight to go, Miss Gilgallan. Uh, then, uh, may we accept it as fact that you do not have a program of your own? And that's a fact, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
do you do you do something besides or in addition to acting? Yes, I do. Uh, do you have any connection with music? Yes, 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 yes. Are you a singer? Yes, I am. Uh, are you um, a singer of popular songs more than operatic songs? Well, I reckon I can do both if I'm called upon. Uh, are you a tenor? Uh, a tenor, did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, some people might call me that. <laughs> well, would somebody with a musical ear call you that? <laughs> I've heard a lot of descriptions of it, but uh, I think they'd call me a tenor. Do you also uh, perform in what might be called a supper club act? I beg your pardon? Uh, have you ever performed in nightclubs or supper clubs? Uh, yes, I have. Are you a single? <laughs> No, I'm married. <laughs> I mean, when you're in a nightclub, are you a single? Yes, I'm a single. And, panel, uh, I want to put you on notice. We have only about three and a half minutes to go to get this. Uh, have you... Uh, have you ever appeared in radio? Radio? In what's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a thing with knobs on the dial, and uh, and you get sound, but no picture. Yes, I've been on radio. Uh, have you been uh, on radio with other people rather than as a single? My shoes! What? <laughs> what? What does my shoes mean? Ma certamente, si. Oh. You obviously are a very good mimic and dialectician. Have you used this in your work, too? Oh, yes, I have used him very much. You say that you're not a person with a television show of his own. Have you ever had a radio show of your own? See. But would you say you were primarily a singer? See. Si. Well, I've got to take the plunge. Are you currently performing in a nightclub? See. Si. Are you currently <coughs> performing in a nightclub in New York? See, si, see. Si. Are you performing under an assumed name? That I am. <laughs> Is your real name McNulty? But that's the truth entirely there. <laughs> Faith and are you Dennis Dame? Ah, that's the Dennis truth. Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dorothy. Actually, uh... I thought Bennett was going to nail Dennis Day tonight, but he, he got on the television. So. I recognized four of the voices, and I had Dennis. I didn't have the last <laughs> Sounded like Alan's Alley to me. <laughs> Sounded like Alan's Alley, that's right. Well, you know, it's a tip-off, actually, Dennis, because there are only a few people in show business who are as good at doing that many voices as you are. Thank and you I can't much. think of the other one. <clears throat> that's for sure is true. And, uh, Mr. Dennis McNulty? Is... Yes, Mr. Daly there. I was going to try mine, but I don't think ah. I will. There's an expert along here, Mr. McNulty. I don't think the Dailies can walk in the same league. I think Dennis is very good at another thing, too. He made a living out of Jack Benny for a good many years. <laughs> <laughs> that, how long were you, or have you been on the Jack Benny show? How many well, years this is you? my 16th year. Isn't that true, Jack? 1939. That's wonderful. Dennis, I'm, honestly, have you ever met a nicer fellow than Jack Benny? No, actually, I never have, Bennett. That's I true. I must, this seems to go for everybody. I'm, I had the pleasure of, of uh, asking Jack to do me a favor a little while ago. I never saw a man work so hard to try to get something done for... Uh, really, he had no reason to help me out, but he did. And I Commercial think, uh, for Benny, huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think we uh, learned again tonight why you were on that for 16 years, and we'll be on it for 16 more. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you very it's much. It's been much, very man. nice having you with us in Washington. <laughs> Thank you.
And I got one word to say about that. I hate to be left out on a limb with our worm friend. I don't think it's um, an insect. It's of the larva family, I believe. But I, I'll look it up and we'll see where we come out. Come back to me. We'll be back in just... Well, uh, till next week. This is John Daly saying good night, Miss Dorothy. Good night, you man who doesn't know what a worm is. Good night, Fred. <laughs> uh, good night, uh, Arlene. Good night, Fred. From and the worm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it'd be that way. <laughs> Give my love to all my friends in Dayton, Bennett. Good trip. Thank good you, night. Arlene. Good night, lava boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and thanks again to Mrs. Germain for being our guest on the panel. And, uh, well, good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being with us in What's My Line. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. In association with the CBS Television Network.